Battlefield 2042 has just announced the redacted game mode that we've been waiting to see, and that is called Battlefield Portal. It is now the ability to mod and create your custom sandbox experience in Battlefield. I've been hosting a lot of Battlefield 64 man events in the past for all the previous titles, and we've done some amazing things with launching vehicles, doing the epic iconic 64 base jump off of buildings, and so much more. With this new portal mode, we are going to be able to not only have those events with 128 players, but we'll have a whole new experience and I'm going to be hosting these events. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you everything you need to know about Battlefield Portal and what you're going to be seeing. With Battlefield Portal, you'll be able to play across different eras of Battlefield all into one map, choosing whichever soldier, weapon, or vehicle from any of those eras. This will include Battlefield 2042, Battlefield 3, Bad Company 2, and 1942, all remastered into Battlefield Portal. The really cool thing is you have full modability in this mode. You can alter different settings. You can disable or enable player's ability to aim down sights, go prone. And as we've seen in the trailer, you can set the game mode to have like just EOD bots versus one tank or have one team using only defibs while another team is only using knives. The possibilities are endless because this is a full blown sandbox experience. Or you can make it into a mode that is more hardcore where you disable people's HUDs, make them have lower health. You can even change the damage weapons have. So this becomes your entire playground. You can even control the max number of players for each team, as well as which weapons everyone has access to, creating a much more balanced or chaos as your heart desires. You will be able to create experiences for other players to join where you can run custom games or present modes such as Conquest, Team Deathmatch, Rush, and other fan favorite modes available at launch. The cool thing is you can create and share these experiences with other people and those players can follow you to keep track of when you're running matches. So how is this all possible? Battlefield is giving us full modding capability with what they call a logic editor that lets players use streamlined visual scripting logic to have even more control when it comes to creating your experiences. While anyone can use the logic editor, it's aimed at those who have prior knowledge of visual scripting logic. You will be given settings that will allow you to change many specific conditions with a flick of a switch, but the logic editor will let you define rules, victory conditions, consequences of specific in-game events, and even more to create custom game modes that aren't possible to create with the settings alone. Full blown modding sandbox capabilities. This is all gonna be coming with a bunch of maps for us to play on. Not only are we going to be getting all the Battlefield 2042 maps to do this on, we're gonna be getting Battle of the Bulge and El Alamein from Battlefield 1942, Arca Harbor and Valparaiso from Bad Company 2, Caspian Border and Nogier Canals from Battlefield 3. So let's talk about the weapons we're going to see in this new Battlefield Portal mode. There's going to be 40 plus weapons from three theaters of war. This includes the M1 Grand, the Panzer Schrecht, G3, M416, and so much more. The vehicles that we're gonna see, there's gonna be 40 plus vehicles, again, from three theaters of war. The Spitfire, the B-17 Bomber make their return alongside modern hardware such as the Quad Bike and Little Bird. The gadgets we're going to get, it's going to be 30 plus gadgets from three theaters of war. Reconnaissance items such as the MAV and radio beacon will be available as gadget selections. These are things we've seen in Battlefield 3 alongside the defibrillator and EOD bot. The armies we're going to see, there's going to be seven different armies from the classic titles as well as Battlefield 2042 specialists. These seven armies are going to be the 1942's UK, US, and Germany, as well as Bad Company 2's US and Russia. And all of this is going to include Battlefield 2042's all-out warfare arsenal, including the maps, weapons, vehicles, and specialists. EA DICE has also mentioned live service to this, meaning we're going to be getting more things along the road as this is going to develop and grow. And what's really cool is Battlefield 2042's progression is synced and will allow you to contribute to your experience gains by playing throughout the various available game modes. With all this said, I am so extremely hyped for this new mode. This is something we've been asking for for a long time, the ability to mod Battlefield and 
have a sandbox experience. They are now allowing this to happen, but not only that, I've seen and read a lot of your comments stating that you guys have seen this trailer and right away thought of my channel and the community events that I host. I'm honestly completely blown away by the amount of love and support you guys show. So thank you for that. And I can't tell you guys enough how much I really appreciate all of that. And with that said, I am going to be hosting some amazing events and creating custom mods for this mode. I wanna know in the comments, ideas that you guys want to see in this new battlefield portal mode the sandbox is yours and i am so excited to host events where you can join and see your ideas in play 